Hi guys, welcome back to Upsida. So in the previous one, we saw how we can uh, create these tasks which will uh, get in sync with Supervase. In this one, I will be looking at authentication. Before that, we'll make some style changes uh, on this uh, uh, very small one. Uh, let's say we have get milk here. So there is not a clear distinction between these two, the one which is already done and the one which is not done. So let's do that in our to-do component. So we can do something like if to-do is complete, right? So I'll add a class called done and uh, that will depend on to-do dot is complete. Now if to-do dot is complete is true, a class done is done will be added along with to-dos. So I can uh, use that here, done. Now uh, I think uh, I can make the opacity of 0.5 or something so that it's a little dull. And also I'll have to just change the this input, maybe uh, add a cross line or you know line on it. That way we are not we know that you know it's it's done. Uh, so that we can do it with done and then uh, whatever is inside, which is an input, I think. Uh, there is a way to select attributes. Here there are two inputs. One is checkbox and text. Uh, we can choose this type equal to text. And we just put it here in this bracket. And then that should be fine. Um, so text decoration. I'll do line through. Right. So with this, uh, we should have something like this. So when I click this as done, it will uh, the opacity will change, and also uh, that will look different than whatever is not done. All right, this is good. Uh, let's get to the uh, signing up process uh, where we have this authentication. So we don't have any users right now. So before going on to row level security, we have to have some users. Let's see how we can do that. So I think there is. Uh, authentication as well we are here so we can use this now in here let's see user management I think uh, it's here in user management so sign up is simple so we'll only try the you know uh, email one for now so I'll create a route here called not in live here route login dot spelled now uh, we can uh, use this script that we just copied. Const, uh, what was that? Sign up. Uh, sign up calls. And it will probably be asynchronous. And then we'll paste this. So here, what it's doing is you know, it is uh, passing the email and password. And uh, once this is done, I think it's sign up will be complete. We'll also have a login. Uh, I think user login is this. Very similar. I think it's sign up and then the, that one is sign in. So let me try that const log in course. Very similar to what we have above. Below this. I'm not handling errors here. So um in here we'll have uh, maybe uh, a label and then one input um, for email right and the password will use same password for all the users let's not use a different one uh, this is not what you should be doing in a production app but in this case since we are just trying things we'll use it so i'll have a button here I'll call this login uh, one more button I'll call this sign up uh, now both of these buttons on clicking them they will run particular functions that I have created here one should be login okay that's that's it I think um, let's see how it looks like 
Yeah, so maybe a little margin is good, or I'll just instead of having another tag and everything, I'll just have a break here. Not a good practice, but maybe another one. Not a good practice, but you know, I'm just doing it. All right, so you can enter an email. Maybe I can have email here so that. And placeholder. At email.com or something. Just a placeholder uh, to make sure people enter the email there. Now, here it's a while signing up. Okay, so we have to create a variable, let email, and let it be empty for now. I will bind this variable to uh this input so uh, do it here we we'll bind the value of this input to email so whatever we enter uh, email will will be assigned that value so in in here and in here i'll just use email right the password will remain same uh, whatever it is there all right, so that should do it. Anything else? Use a login with magic. No, we are just gonna look at this right now. So let me create one, Sharad at. Uh, one more thing before we go there, let me go back to user management here and settings. Uh, I will not enable this uh, confirmation, email confirmation. So this will be uh, on by default. So I'm turning it off. Uh, e enable email confirmation so i don't want this for now because what happens is it will send an email to your email and uh, you will have to click on confirm or verify or something so let's not have that so that way we can use any email at uh, let's say email.com okay. and i'll do sign up because there is no account it says superbase is not defined yes so I'm using Superbase, but I'm not calling it. Let's go to index. We have this import, right? So I'll just use that in login. Let's try that again. Let me clear this, sign up. Uh, nothing really happened, but let me go back here and see users. And the user is there. So that's good. And it also given as an ID, which is a UUID. Uh, should be unique for every user. So now once the sign up or login is done, we may have to redirect user to you know another place, right? And let's we can do that. Or we may want to save this user to a store. So let us do that using uh, a store maybe something like a user or something. So I'm doing stores.js. I will do export const user, maybe, right hook. Uh, it, it imported for me. Um, I'll have false here initially. And then uh, in here, I will import that. User from library stores. Right. So once this is done, what I can do is there is you know user object is there, so I can do dollar user equals user. Uh, and this might throw an error, so what I do is I will assign this as I'll uh, get this as user details or something. Right. So that way I can do this so I'll do the same thing for this as well and I'll have the same um, thing here see this is this is for the convenience this is not how it should be done so there is something called on auth state change we'll be using that uh, just in uh, in a moment but right now I'll just show you how this can be useful and once that is done we may have to go to uh, some other location like maybe to home page 
so let's do the same thing if it is successful here as well i'm not handling any uh, failed cases here so yeah so once the sign up or login is done we'll go back to home page now in home page we will be having uh, access to i mean we can access the store that we did in login this we can use this in here and then we can uh, you know show something here maybe like a h4 or something and then welcome uh, I'll use dollar user uh, dot email email is you know, usually present in that if it is present then we'll show okay, i'll have a question mark just in case it's a uh, it's optional chaining uh, it will check you know uh, even if it is uh, user is object is not present it will not throw an error so just to user dot email now so what it is doing is if user dot email is present then it will show that i'll have a exclamation here so if this is not there then there will be welcome just welcome i think so let's go back to home page refresh welcome undefined okay so we don't want undefined so let me have a question mark here if user email is present then user email otherwise show empty i think that should work yeah that's working now let me go back here so i'll do sharat at email.com now since my account is already there if i do sign up it may not work uh, i'll do login and it will redirect back and you see that my email is being shown here with welcome um, i can also if, you, if i want to see my user object i can do console.log other user and we can see what other things are inside this so let me zoom in a little bit so there is some metadata there is email it says confirmed already confirmed that otherwise you know um, confirmation email sent or something will be there we disabled it so yeah this is the user object so you can uh, use that in this case it's showing but uh, the problem here is that if i refresh it might go away yeah it is it shows false user is gone uh, now we might want the user to be present all the time right so in that case what we can do is there is something called um superbase.auth.user so that we can use let me see if i can find that in the api Mm. user yes this is the one so this is what we want right uh, I'll, I'll copy this i go to stores i will have that first and then i'll have an or condition if that is not there then we will have false um we have to import superbase so it's somewhere here yeah we can just copy that to the store as well now it will look for the user if it is present you know it's it will uh, keep it there yeah it is present the user is present now if i refresh uh, it will get the email and then does it uh, i can also slash login I can go here i can sign up with another email i think let's say anirudh or something at gmail.com or i'll just use email here and I'll do sign up and did with Anirudh right uh, but the thing is you know uh, it is nowhere related to what we are getting here the tasks um, in the next one I will look into how we can use this for our role level uh, security all right guys thanks bye bye